Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about my video today because I'm doing an unboxing. I was so excited when Unplugged Book Box reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to unbox one of their boxes on my channel. And of course I said yes because I've seen their box everywhere and I just love it so, so much. I'm so excited to finally have one of my own and they are a book box that is focused on self-care items. And as we know, reading can be such a great form of self-care and so these items help to promote that philosophy. And on the side, it says unplug and recharge. So I just can't wait to get into this. I don't know anything about the box. Like I didn't even look on their Instagram or anything like that because I didn't want to, like I didn't look for any like spoilers. So I don't even know like what the theme is because I wanted to be completely surprised. So here it says unbox and share your experience. Unplug and recharge. Uh oh, and it's adult fiction discovery march 2021 so this is the spoiler information card i'll be putting this to the side for now and of course we have all of the crinklies um i might throw these on the floor for my dog to play with but i also feel like i might regret that so i don't know if my vacuum is strong enough to face the crinkles okay so let's start off here the first item is a candle called kastrima this is the fifth season candle. I love the fifth season. So the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin focuses on the tragedy of a family and community as war begins to rage. This book touches on the discovery of limitations and pushing boundaries. It's an unplugged exclusive by Scented Stories Co., a small bookish candle vendor. Ooh. This smells very nice. I like it. And it smells like smoky vanilla, amber, and surviving the worst. Yeah, this is a really unique. It's like clean, but... A little musky. I will be burning this one. Okay, on to the next item in the box. I'm just kind of pulling things at random here. Oh, this is in a gold. This is in a gold pouch. So let's see what it is. Oh, this is really cool. For 2020 Visionaries Darrow hand sanitizer spray with pure essential orders. So this is focused, um, inspired by Red Rising. I think. If you look at it. I'll honestly probably keep this in my car because I feel like hand sanitizer sprints can come in so handy when you're like in between the stores and stuff like that. Okay. Can always use clean hands. Oh. Mm, what is that scent? It is Red Rising by Pierce Brown tells the story of Darrow who discovers his own value and decides to rise up and fight back against injustice. This exclusive hand sanitizing spray is made by 42020 Visionaries, a local business that creates bath and body care and Pain relief products. So what's next? Ooh. Ooh, bath spritz. So this is some bath stuff. It smells like poppy, grapefruit, and shamanic power is inspired by Rin from the Poppy War. Oh, cool. So Rin from the Poppy War by RF Kuang discovers she has secret power in the mystical art of shamanism. These bath fizzies can be used as a bath or for a foot soak, and they are an unplug exclusive by Sudzi Doug. Soapery, a small business that makes stunning bath products. Very cool. I feel like this box is going to make me very relaxed. Okay, whatever I'm seeing here is something that I am... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely my favorite item. It's a notebook inspired by Addie LaRue. Oh my god. No way. This is so cute. So it says... The link and the years fall away like leaves, which is a quote from Annie LaRue, and it comes with this pen. Well, I don't know if this is part of this or not, but it comes with a pen that looks like a key. Oh my goodness. Addie from the East Schwab's novel discovers the reality of what it means to pray to the gods after dark. This notebook is in an unplugged exclusive from Petricor Inc., a small self-care business that makes products inspired by books, 90s TV, and alternate music. Okay, so the book comes wrapped like this, and so it's fun to open it. Ooh. 
Ooh. I have not heard of this one, but it is called The Conductors by Nicole Glover. And it's a nail mining debut that takes Raiders to Reconstruction era Philadelphia. Okay. And it says, from a bold new voice comes a vibrant story of magic and murder set in the aftermath of the Civil War. This seems really cool. And it comes with an author signature, a little note from the author, and then the April 2021 sneak peek. So it's Venom Adult Fiction and Power Young Adult Box. And coming soon is an unplugged special edition of One Last Stop, which I'm just gonna read the description on the back since I don't know what this is about. So Hetty Rhodes and her husband Benji were conductors on the Underground Railroad, ferrying dozens of slaves to freedom with daring cunning and magic that draws its powers from the constellations. With the war over, the, those skills find a new purpose as Hetty and Benji solve mysteries and murders that white authorities would otherwise ignore. In the heart of Philadelphia's seventh ward, everyone knows that when there's a strange death or magical curses are causing trouble, Hetty and Benji are the only ones who can solve the case. But when an old friend is murdered, their investigation stirs up a wasp nest of intrigue, lies, and long buried secrets, and a mystery unlike anything they've ever handled before. With a clever, cold-blooded killer on the prowl, Hetty and Benji, testing their magic and placing their lives at risk, will discover how little they really know about their neighbors and themselves. This seems really cool and unique. Like, I have not heard of a concept like this. And I just love when novels are like a blend of magic and history and all those really cool things. And the aftermath of the Civil War is like just as much of a tumultuous time as the Civil War. Oh, look at that. The chapter headers do constellations. That's awesome. Okay, wow, I'm really happy that I got this book in the box because it's not something I really have heard of otherwise, but it just seems really cool and unique. Okay, and that is everything that is in the box this month. Oh wait. Okay, wait, sorry. There's more. Okay, so there's this cool bookmark. And then there's adult fiction photo challenge. So different photos that you can post on Bookstagram. And then there's journal prompts on Discovery, which is really awesome. I feel like I need to maybe keep like a digital journal or something like that. I feel like that'd be really cool. And it just has a lot of prompts that you can do to kind of be self-reflective and think. So again, I just really love that this box focuses on self-care because I feel like reading has that healing power and this box just emphasizes that. Okay, I definitely think my favorite item is this Addie LaRue notebook. It's so cute. And I just like love, I love Yves Schwab, you know. I haven't even read Addie LaRue yet, but I already know I'm gonna love it, so. And this little key pen, oh, it's amazing. So thank you so much to Unplugged Book Box for sending me this box. I'm so happy that I got to unbox it on my channel. I just absolutely loved this box and I'm so excited to read something that I haven't heard of before. And I'm really excited to have this book. I just think it's gonna be such a cool and unique experience. And I know, I'm so intrigued by it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Hello, I'm back because I realized I have another unplugged book box. I actually got sent both of them for the month. So I'm going to open it up and we can talk about the March Young Adult box, which is about identity. Here's the thing. Whatever's in this box it smells good too. Okay. We're just gonna get right in. So first is Call Me Sweet Tea Unplugged book box vadriel's dark ritual black tea with cloves and florals and this is inspired by cemetery boys by aiden thomas and next up is this white box which i'm assuming is probably a mug and it is You know, I love tea. Oh, this is beautiful. It says, rise up. And this mug is inspired by Dread Nation. Identity is a huge theme in Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This character's experience prejudice based on race and the story focuses on Jane, with strength is expiring. And this mug is an unplugged exclusive design by Nathana Erica. It's beautiful. This is what I was smelling that smelled so good. And this is Natural Pure Honey Unplugged Book Box Sample Shaw Warm Evenings Cherry Blossom Love with Soap. This 
so this is when dimple meant reishi whipped soap and this book, this book focuses on feeling different from your peers main characters under struggle to understand their identities and achieve happiness and this is by nature pure honest code unplugged and like honestly it smells so good i know it's like soap i kind of wish it was like lotion it smells like fresh laundry it's very good okay i'm so excited about this one it's a candle inspired by a darker shade of magic oh and it says kel i am a ve schwab stan so this makes me so excited um and it's Tell from a darker shade of magic by V.E. Schwab struggles with his identity due to his uncertain background and adoption. And this is by Book Tabs and Wix. And it's Amber, Mystery, and Absinthe. It's definitely like a masculine candle. Look at the pink sparkles, but I love it. Mmm. It's very good. Oh, this is a tea strainer. Okay. This is very cool. It's like this thing. Is it supposed to be like a lacrosse thing? It's a bookish straw tea strainer. So it assures loose leaf tea remains in the cup and not in your mouth. Okay, so it's like a straw, but this is so like if you just have loose leaves like in the tea, it doesn't come up into your mouth. This is really cool and I love the iridescence. We have a tray and I love trays. So this tray is inspired by Pride and Prejudice and it is awesome it's by designed by abby magala and it says i declare there is no enjoyment like reading so this is just perfect i love these trinket trays and they're just like perfect for putting trinkets on a bookmark that is from the cool prince which has two quotes on it the side says you've only seen the least of what i can do and then this one says if i cannot find a good enough story I make one and this one is designed by the unplugged team we have a note from the author and we also have the young adult photo challenge as well as this side so let's see what the book is this month is identity so I'm sure it will be identity focused I should just get a knife, but I'm being. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time? I see some butterflies. I love butterflies. Okay. Okay, wow. I've never heard of this but it looks like it has something to do with poems which is really cool um and it's called if i tell you the truth by jasmine cower author of when you ask me where i'm going and the back has this statement that says this isn't a poem instead it's an obituary for the girl i used to be the girl who belonged to everyone but herself the girl who swallowed her heart and bit her tongue the girl who would ne never dare to run oh this looks really interesting and it has like different like elements incorporated into it so it's like a poetry it's like a mix of prose and oh it has fair warnings that's cool in a world that intentionally silences the voice of its most marginalized communities what does it take to be heard kiran leaves her home of punjab for a new start in canada after a sexual assault leaves her pregnant but overstaying her visa and living undocumented brings its own perils for both her and her daughter sahara Sahara would do anything to protect her mother. When she learns the truth about Kieran's past, she feels compelled to seek justice, even if it means challenging a powerful and dangerous man. And it uses po prose, poetry, and illustration to explore trauma, fear, courage, community, and the healing power of love in its many forms. This just seems like it's going to be a novel that is very like hard-hitting. Look at this. I have not heard of this at all, but I'm so intrigued, and I just feel like it's going to be like a very important book. 
treat. So what I really love about Unplugged Book Box is I feel like it highlights some books that I don't hear a lot about or don't like see a lot of bookish merch for. So yeah, I just really enjoyed this box. I think my favorite item might have to be this soap just because it smells so good. So yeah, this concludes my double unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Have some fun read books. Catch you guys in the next one.